Hello, my name is Miss M, and um, this is my daughter Capri. And today I will be reading a book to her called Watch the Stars Come Out. Author is Ricky Levinson and is illustrated by Diane Godey. Here we go. It says, Grandma told me when her mama was a little girl, she had red hair just like me. Grandma's mama loved to go to bed early and watch the stars come out just like me. Capri, have you ever seen the stars come out at night? Um, no, not really. Have you ever seen, look at the sky during the night? Mm, kind of. What do you see in the sky? Stars. How, can you describe the stars? They're white. Huh. All right, let's continue reading. It says, every Friday night after the dishes were put away, Grandma's mama would come to her room and tell her a special story. When I was a little girl, my brother and I went on a big boat to America. Mama and Papa and sister were waiting for us. My aunt, Mama's sister, took us to the boat. She didn't bring my little brothers. They were too small. They would come on a boat when they were older. Aunt gave us a barrel full of dry fruit. She asked an old lady to watch over us, and she did. She also ate from our dry fruit. Capri, what are you thinking of? How does this book make you feel? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, let's continue reading. It says, the old lady and brother and I went down the steps to our room. I counted the steps as we carried our bundles down, but there were so many I forgot to count after it a while. Sometimes the boat rocked back and forth. It was fun. Some people didn't like it. They got sick. The old lady got very sick. She died. Brother told me not to worry. We could take care. He could take care of me. He was 10. See, everyone's getting sick. Have you ever gone seasick? Or motion sick mm. when you go in a car? Yeah. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Mm. I don't know. You don't know? It says, at night, when I went to sleep, I couldn't see the stars come out in the sky. That made me sad. Each morning, when we got up, Brother put a mark on his stick and counted them. 23. The last morning we looked across the water. There were two islands near each other. One of them had a statue standing on it, a lady which a, with a crown. Everyone got very excited and waved to her. I did too. Do you know what the, who that lady is? Mm -hmm. I forgot. You forgot? Her name's Statue of Liberty. When the boat stopped, we carried our bundles down the plank. I started to cry. I did not see Mama and Papa and Sister. A sailor told me not to worry. We would see them soon. We went on another boat to a place on an, on an island. What are you wondering, Capri? Are you wondering anything? Mm. No? It says, we carried our bundles into a big, big room. Brother and I went into a small room with all the children, other children without mamas and papas. A lady looked at me all over. I wondered why I waited for brother. The lady looked at him too. You see, what is the lady looking doing to her? Checking her heartbeat. 
yeah and those days people landed in Isla's Island and they had to be checked make sure that there was nothing wrong with them and that they weren't sick the next day we went on a ferry the land came closer and closer as we watched everyone waved we did too you see everyone waving yeah. Mama and Papa and sister were there. Look, how do you think she's feeling now that she saw her mom and her dad and sister? Happy. Would you be happy too if you saw your mom and your dad too? Mm. Says so we went on a trolley to our home. Mama said in, it was a palace. Mama's palace was on the top floor. I counted the steps as we walked up 52. Ooh, that's a long ways up. Mama and Papa's room was in the middle. Our room was in the front. And in the back, the kitchen with a big black stove. Do you see the stove? Yes. Mama warmed a big pot of water on the stove and poured some into the sink and helped me climb into the wash. Mama asked, washed my hair and when it was dry, she brushed it. I felt good. Sister gave us cookies and glasses to, and glasses to, of tea. I was very tired. Would you be tired like that if you were on a big trip? It says, I kiss mama and sister. Good night. Papa patted me on my head and said I was his little princess. I went to our room and climbed into sister, my sister's bed. It was right next to the window. I watched the stars come out. One, two, three. The Friday night I will go, this Friday night I will go to bed very early and watch the stars come out in the sky. I hope grandma will come to my room and tell me another special story. The end. Capri, will you be watching the stars at mm. night? I Come don't out. Know. You don't know? Would you like to do it tonight? Mm. Mm. I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. So this was the book that I read. Um, and uh, it's for my ITL uh, 510. It's my signature assignment. And um, thank you for watching us. Bye.